superintendents of Ekiti State. It's a gathering of political and business leaders, including the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemio Shibajo, as well as governors of Lagos, Edo, Kaduna, amongst other dignitaries, who have come to share their ideas and learn as Ekiti kicks off its Fountain Summit series to showcase investment opportunities in the state. The host governor and chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, highlights the state's effort to attract investors, calling for collaboration to drive growth. Our solution to reduce the dependence of Ekiti State on federally distributed revenues is to enable private enterprise by making the state an attractive destination for investors. Our efforts have started to yield results with the Kundiri Farm, Moribond for over 40 years now operational and producing and producing over 80,000 liters of milk per month. The keynote speaker, Vice President Yemio Shibajo, challenged sub-nationals to start thinking like sovereign states by exploring areas of competitive advantage and robust investment in a knowledge-based economy. There has to be a collective change of mind, a collective uh, change of mindset, thinking differently. There is a need for a sub-national to think like a sovereign state. You have a bigger GDP and even more revenues than many nations. And I think you are in the flow of progress with the planned establishment of the technology special economic zone. Clearly, the future of fast-growing economies is in the knowledge economy. At a panel discussion, Governor Somoli explains how Lagos has been able to sustain his economy. He also delves into the issue of state police, a point his colleagues from Edo, Kaduna and Ikiti all agree with. One point that we should not drop eye on which I'm sure everybody knows about, is the issue, issue around the state police, right? We've all talked about it. Mr. Vice President is here. He knows what each and every one of us feels, you know, about this. And we should not let this opportunity slip by again. Governor Sohulu has spoken the mind of governors collectively that we need multi-level policing arrangements. We will not be able to run away from the fact that States will now have to play a much more role in the entire value chain for security. My colleagues have, uh, have, have, have articulated it correctly. Yes. And the APC True Federalism Committee has made the case that we need multi-level policing, not just state police, even local government police. The vice president will not talk about the issue of state police at this forum, even though at previous fora, he agrees there's need for constitutional amendment to address the lapses in the constitution, but he talks about economic viability of states. So where a state has shown that it can perform in a particular sector, then we support that and give whatever we can to support it. And, 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 this, is, and this is crucial because it also means that we will generate more revenues for everyone to the poor. As Nigeria gradually recovers from the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic, conversations of this nature are expected to translate into action plans that will increase the economic viability of the states.